What's going on guys, Aussie here, welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, Gabrielson, 88 overall centre back and his stats look insane. But before we get into it, I want to thank Ian for allowing me to use his account to obviously do this player review. If you guys want to hear him up with a follow, it'll be more than grateful. Link will be in the description to his Twitter. But 87 pace, 88 physical, 87 defending, 80 passing and 75 dribbling. Wow. You never, I would, I said you never see a better stats on a centre back, but we all saw a team of the Van Dyke stats. But at the end of the day, he is get, he got given away for free. EA are giving you guys this card, and we're here to test him out. He is six foot one. He is obviously got that nice reach on him to intercept the ball in a centre back position. Medium, medium work rate doesn't really matter for a centre back as long as he stay back while attacking. He's always going to stay back. He's got two star weak foot. Which is a, not a nice sight to see, especially with passing-wise, because I'm going to probably try to avoid passing with his left foot in every aspect because it's not going to go very well. I know that for a fact. He is on an anchor chemistry style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 87 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. A very, very fast centre-back. He's got 59 attacker positioning, 59 finishing, 90 shot power, 59 long shots, 71 volleys, and 66 uh, penalties. Shot power looks insane, but I feel like his shot power has came from, obviously, his heading accuracy and all of that. So, finishing-wise with the foot, not great. Now, he's got 81 short passing, 71 vision, 94 crossing, 74 with free kick accuracy, 72 long passing, and 87 curve. Passing-wise, he looks pretty decent. I wouldn't say he's one of those players that you're going to obviously ping the ball with from left to right or across the pitch. But he's going to be a person that you're going to probably do a simple pass with and most likely try to force it onto his right foot when you're passing. Now, he's got 99 agility. I don't know the last, t last time I saw a centre-back with 99 agility. He also has 84 balance, 83 reactions, 73 ball control, which is not the greatest, 68 dribbling and 77 composure. Now... That ball control is not looking great. He's probably going to be taking bad touches and hopefully he will be able to do first time passes because I'm not going to trust him with that touch, I'll tell you that. Now he's got 94 interceptions, him being 6 foot 1, he has got that reach to him. Hopefully he'll be intercepting the ball fairly easily. He's got 91 defensive awareness. Hopefully he'll be reading cut passing lanes by himself and reading the runs, obviously. He's also got 96 standing tackle. I'm expecting him very, very strong. And I uh, like I would say committed standing tackle. I don't want the ball. Well, I want the ball, but I want to follow through. I want that player as well while I'm at it. Now he's got 99 slide tackle as well, which means if I get into a slide tackle opportunity, I will obviously be taking it. Now 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy, 90 shot power. <laughs> huh. He's got a bullet of a header, and hopefully I can get to him on the near post head on the near post corner. Sorry, and hopefully it will be a very very nice goal. He's got 83 stamina. Centre backs don't need high stamina, and 83 is more than enough. He has 99 strength though, which means he's going to be bodying players left, right, and centre. He's also got 87 aggression, which is even going to make him faster. But the point is, he's going to be winning more 50/50s. Now today I have linked him up with Shoji. I think is how you pronounce it. Well, Moments Petit, Van der Sar, and Robertson. I've also got the likes of Team of the Mbappe. Moments Ezebio, which I obviously just did a play review on him. If you guys missed it, link will be in the description. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. And Cruyff in the team. As long as I'm using Gabrielson in a forward or back, I don't think it matters what formation I'm playing. But none of that, enough of that. Let's get straight into these games. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Nice, good tackle. We did lose the ball with him, obviously. Can he obviously do these switch passes? That's the most important. If you're a person that's obviously like to take your time, he's one of those players that is going to be able to switch the ball. Not like, I don't know, Adair Militao. And sometimes even Varane, they can't do it great. Use that pace. Nice, strong tackle. I like the way... Look at him. He looks like he's got a bulky body in-game, which makes him like more of a Van Dyke. And Sol Campbell kind of look alike. I like the way he feels. He turns really, really fast. And that's obviously towards his 99 agility. Very calm and composed on the ball as well. Little dummy. We all know how good he is at shooting. Oh my god. That was a pretty decent shot to be fair to him. I feel like that's more of shot power coming into it. Look at that. Now, he was obviously right at the keeper. But <laughs> I'm more surprised that he actually got it on target than anything. He has got the pace, obviously, to track back off corners and stuff. No matter what. He is super fast, man. 
He's not going to let players like Ossiman uh, uh, outpace him. All day he's going to be on that. So, yeah, I can already tell the touches let him down a lot. Like, you can say whatever you want about the 99 agility, but if a player can't touch, like, the ball round corners, <laughs> just don't dribble with him. Trust me on that. So, we have got a corner, and why not hit it to him once again? And let's see if he actually wins this header. Near post. It's a good header. Oh, he just went above his head though. But I liked his commitment there. He was the only person I feel like actually jumped. Look how fast he is, man. He's super fast. He went to track that Ben Yedda run while cutting a passing lane. At the same time, I pressured with him and he's super, super fast. He gets from point A to point B in a split second. Straight onto it. Beautiful slide tackle. No way it was a foul. Maybe I clipped the person that was in front before anything. But I tell you what, there was no chance that was a foul. Now, that one was a foul, I must admit. Nice. Did you see that man of pace that he just got there to read that cut passing lane? Obviously, I moved him into the passing lane. But the amount of pace he used just to get into the right position was incredible. He's going to be there, man. I love the amount of pace, he's, pace he uses just to kind of be into the position where I need him to be. That is just unbelievable to see. Nice. Very, very nice and strong tackle. I had to obviously be a bit careful there because he is an obviously a yellow card from that slide, slide tackle I did earlier. But at the same time... Jesus Christ, look how bad that touch was. That's what I mean about you're probably going to have to do first time passes with him at, than anything. Because his first time touch, oh my god, it is so, so bad. Straight onto it. Nice little pressure. Great tackle. Didn't really come out with the ball there, but it was more than an interception than anything. And I do understand the ball was coming at him at a very, very fast pace. So we have got a corner and obviously we are going to hit it to a near post. See if he can obviously jump onto it. He's got high jumping. He is obviously tall. Let's see what happens. Oh, if he got there before the keeper, that's a goal guaranteed. Nice. So what I did there was low-key bait him into the pass. So what I can do is just run around with Gabrielson and just intercept him. Because I know how much pace he is, has got. I know he can get from point A to point B very, very fast. So I can kind of bait plays with him, which is always nice to see. So we have obviously got a corner and we are going to hit it near post to him. He has got amazing head accuracy and jumping as well. He is six foot one, so he's got that height to him. But can he win this header? Oh, he does pretty well, but... At the same time, he hasn't won, completely won the header. Come on, get in front. There you go. Using that pace once again. That aggression coming into play. Just getting in front of his man instantly to collect the ball. Track that run. You have got the pace. You have got the standing tackle. And it's another great tackle from him. Another corner. Let's see what he can do. Near post once again. Gabrielson, get your head to it. Oh, he did get him, so he get him in a good uh, direction. But we all know headers in this game. They're not the most consistent thing. Let's say that. Give him that little pace battle. Because you know he's going to catch up, man. Unbelievable amount of pace. So it is time to review him. And let me say, this card, it's very, very nice. And I'm actually quite surprised. They're giving away this card for free. EA usually don't do this thing where they give away a good card for free, which is obviously what I'm surprised about. Now, six foot one, very, very nice. Yeah, if you could argue if he was six foot three, six foot four, he could resemble himself to obviously like a, I don't know, a low key team near Van Dyke with that amount of pace and tackling. But at the same time, we're going to have to deal with him being six foot one. He has got a little good reach on him on interception wise, but when he's like, when you go towards someone and click B, if the player is facing towards you, yes, you'll get the ball. But with players like Virgil van Dijk, the player doesn't even need to be facing towards you. You just tackle. It's going to go round them and they're going to get the ball. With Gabrielson, you can't really do that. You'll get a lot, a lot of yellow cards. Now, the two-star weak foot was a bit of a problem. Passing-wise, I couldn't believe how bad it was with his left foot. With his right foot, I didn't have a problem with it at all, though. Pace, unbelievable. Super, super fast. One of the fastest centre-backs I've actually used this year, which is always nice to see. Now, shot power, I actually took a shot of him. He was very high up. I think he was off a corner still. And, yeah, the accuracy wasn't there. 
But the amount of shot power behind the shot was insane. Now, short passing wise, very nice. The little pass into the midfield was always going to be nice with 81 short passing. But this guy cannot over the top the ball to save his life. The one thing I do say though, if it's on his stronger foot, he can switch the ball from side to side. No problem. But when it comes down to over, like through balling someone in, <laughs> don't try it, please. Dribbling wise, agility, it wasn't great. Because his ball control is so, so low. Which means... You're not going to be able to turn like a 99 ag uh, agility person. You're going to because the ball goes too far away from his feet. But at the same time, I do suggest do not taking a touch with this guy. If you do, you're risking him taking a bad touch, which will probably end up being a goal if the person gets it early. I would suggest just passing it first time, getting rid of the ball, and do not to let this guy touch it while dribbling. Now, defending-wise, interceptions, crazy good. Defensive awareness, amazing. Tracking runs by himself. Standing tackle, really, really nice. As I said, he hasn't got that 6 foot 3 6 foot 4 kind of body that would just go around someone and can completely clamp him. But at the same time, if the person's facing towards you and you're one-on-one -on -one and you're going to collide with each other, he always comes out first. Now, the slide tackles was also very nice. I went for a very nice slide tackle and I did one good slide tackle, then I went for another one and then I gave away a yellow card. <laughs> But that's just me. But his slide tackling is very, very nice. Jumping-wise, he did obviously win headers on that near post corner, which is always nice to see. But heading in this game is not great. So the chance of the ball actually going in with the near post uh, header, very, very slim, I would say. Stamina wasn't a problem at all. He's a centre-back. He doesn't use that much stamina anyway. Strength, very, very strong. Body and plays left, right, and centre. I didn't use the strength to, his, to the full potential. For example, I didn't really like do the shoulder, the shoulder barges. But... At the same time, while like shielding players off, it was all there. Aggression, very nice. When I tell you what, when he goes for the tackle, because he's so his aggression is so high, he follows through, he takes out the player, and that's one thing I did say I love to see. Now I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10. Because I believe a perfect centre-back has to be able to at least dribble with the ball slightly and not kind of screw up with it. It like Having to pass first time with this guy is a bit of a struggle because if it does land onto the wrong foot, aka his two-star weak foot, you might be in a bit of trouble. Now, obviously, as well, the long passing, the threaded through balls, I would love to do that with a centre-back time to time, send a play on a run, aka Adama Traore, and just overtop the ball. But with him, you can't do that. But... That's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment. Thanks for Ian once again for allowing me to use his account. But for now, peace.